Miss V. This a no makeup kind of day again. Look, y'all remember in vlog 10, I told y'all my granddaughter was gonna do my makeup. Guess what? I forgot the foundation. So, in vlog 11, I'm here to let her do my makeup for the day. But anyway, how y'all doing today? Miss V, Miss V is enjoying doing these vlogs. I feel good. Anyway, I guess because I'm just talking and getting feedback and y'all let me know that y'all enjoying the vlog. So, I'm going to do like some of the other uh, <laughs> creators do. Um, I'm going to continue doing these vlogs if I can get, you know how they do, if I can do a get 100 likes, 1,000 likes. If I can just get one like, I'm going to continue to do it. Yay! I don't need but one. Okay. <laughs> I'll put that like on there myself. But anyway, um... This is another off day, and this is a truly an off day. I don't have to work with my little lady because I stayed extra yesterday so I could be off today. She talked about, I figured that what you were doing. Because I was going to do, you know, I do nine hours a week. I was going to do three hours Monday, three hours Thursday, and three hours a day. Today is Friday. But since she had so much to do, I went on and stayed six hours yesterday so I could truly have an off day today. And I'm glad I did because my husband said he's getting off early and he's going to take me to lunch. Isn't that sweet? But anyway, Miss V got a lot of stuff to do. I got to go mail some little mail to some of my YT sisters. I got like three to mail out. One of them is an act of kindness. It was a product that was in one of my videos. The lady said she liked it and I no longer, I've had it so long and I'm just going to give it away. I'm purging my life. I'm getting rid of stuff that I no longer have use for. And the other one is just to one of my YT sisters just to let her know I appreciate her supporting my channel. And the third one is for one of my YT sisters to let her know I appreciate her um, supporting my channel also and um, hosting a challenge with me. Just to show a little gratitude. Yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And one of the ladies, I got a cricket machine and I made her a shirt. I'm not gonna show y'all the shirt. Cause she may do it. She may show it in her video. But anyway, when I'm doing my shirts, I get tired of ironing. And to me, it seems like when you iron them on, it don't stay long. So I found, well, one of my friends told me about this vinyl, these, this store, this family that has a vinyl store in my area. It's a Christian-based store, and they sell vinyl. And that's where I'm headed. And guess what? One day I was in there and just talking. That's why I'd say it's good to talk to people. You don't have to give them your social security number. Tell them, you ain't got to tell them nothing about your life, but it's just good to come save people. And I was in there, purchased some, some vinyl to do a project. And I kept noticing people in and out the door, going back there to the, um, the press machine, doing their shirts. And I could tell, I was like, this is a small place, so I don't think all them people work here. So they just kept coming in, a different folk. And so I asked them one day, you know, what were those people doing? He said, we're a Christian-based store, so... We let people use our press machine for free. Isn't that wonderful? God is good. So uh, he told me all I have. He gave me the card and told me all I had to do is call ahead of time so they can turn it, turn the machine on, and um, so it can warm up because it takes seven minutes for it to warm up. But it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I don't think I'm gonna have to call this morning. But that's where I'm headed. I've done. I've cut out the design that I want to put on her shirt, and I'm gonna go use this press machine. So that's what I'm doing today. What y'all doing today? Today is Friday. Folks be like, yeah, the weekend. I be like, yeah, I got to work this weekend. And <laughs> I don't get excited just because no weekend. Whether I have to work or not, I get excited by any day that God has blessed me with. But I guess that would be for people that party or people that work Monday through Friday. I get it. I understand. But anyway... Show you how sweet these people are. There's still some nice people in the world. Everybody's not corrupt, y'all. Some of us still trying to do right. I mean, we ain't perfect. We do wrong, but we have good intentions. Be like that. And plus, I need to get some new vinyl. So let me go see.
mail off all three of my packages today. I got to do that. And plus, I need to um make a payment on my post office box. It's due by July 31st. So that's what I'm doing. So y'all gonna see a lot of vlogs from this day because um, my husband be ready to roll, baby. And that was one of my one of the um uh, um things I asked for. I asked for a man that likes to go. But you better be careful what you ask for when you write that stuff on that paper. <laughs> oh, for real. You be ready to go. Sometimes I be like, hold on, baby, we ain't got no money. He like, oh, okay. You be ready to go. Guess that's good, though. Then we plan on going to a concert. See Uncle Charlie, Charlie Wilson. My name is Charlie, last name Wilson. Hey, y'all ever been to see Charlie in concert? They say he put on a good show. I miss him every time, but I'm not gonna miss him this time. I promise you, coming August the 10th, the tea town baby. And Mr. And Miss V plan to be in the house. show y'all this cute little uh, cosmetic bag about my granddaughter when I went to Dollar Tree. I think I'm going to go back and give me one. I got to take some um, stuff back to Dollar Tree, so I might give me one when I take it back. I had exchanged some stuff last night at Dollar Tree to cash. She was like, you got your receipt? I said, baby, I wouldn't dare come in here without no receipt. She was laughing. I said, baby, I know y'all posse. Don't you recognize my face? I know y'all. Y'all ain't going to take nothing back. Now I got that receipt. I already know what you're going to say. I told her I already know what you're going to say. Yes, I got my receipt. It's in the bag with the merchandise. <laughs> she was so all done. She was ready to turn, she was ready to turn me um, around. Got that receipt. Like, she said, like, you better have your receipt. You know, she had an attitude with it. And I had a God or two back with her. Then when I say I be having a God or two, I be nice, nasty. My girlfriend said, you nasty. They call me nasty. I be like, yeah, baby, Jim got a little Lord, you ain't just finna talk to me no any kind of way. They go for doctors, anybody. They talk wrong, you be saying stuff to the doctor. I went down say, I say, I wasn't in some boarding. Y'all walk around here timid. God made that doctor just like he made you. He was born a baby just like you, laying on his back, whining, eh, eh, just like you. Anything that he achieved, my father gave it to him. He is no better than you, he's a doctor. This is his career. That's his profession, okay? Talk to him just like I talk to you. Like, <laughs> I had a standoff. They say I had a standoff with one of the pulmonologists, one of the long doctors. Anyway, he verbally came. He walked up to me and told me that he wanted to take this particular patient off life support. The family was withdrawing care, so they wanted me to take him out the machine, and they were just going to put him on a little oxygen and just let him die comfortably because the machine was keeping him alive. Okay. So, legally, I need an order to take somebody off life support. Just because you walked up to me and told me you want to take them off life support. I don't know. I mean, you could have said bed B and really meant bed A. And I go in there and do the wrong thing. So, when I go to court, first thing they're going to ask me, besides read me the um, oath, they're going to ask me, where's the order? Okay. So, I asked him. I said, okay. I appreciate it if you, uh, you know, put an order in the computer for that. He's like, well... Normally, I don't um, put an order in the computer. The therapist just, you know, just takes a verbal order. I said, well, sir, when I'm taking someone off life support, I'd like to see an order in the computer to cover myself. He was like, oh, okay, okay. I ain't got no problem doing it. He was saying he had no problem doing it. He was just saying he had never had to do it. Okay, I ain't got no problem with that. What I'm saying is I need you to do one today, like right now while Veronica is therapist. That's what I'm saying. I ain't worried about what you used to do. Okay, so... It took him a minute. He didn't, you could tell that he didn't want to put the order in. And so he went in the room and talked to the family. So I went in the room with him too. He walking around as he finished talking to the family, walking around the computer, waiting on me to just go in there and do it. I'm, I'm walking around the computer, waiting on him to go put the order in the computer. So that's why they said we had a standout, because he was walking around with a hand behind his back. I was walking around. I was just relaxing. I was just getting on my tool, getting my mask whatever oxygen I'm going to put them on I'll give them a towel 
and lay on the patient chest like we normally do. I was just calmly doing everything because I had already asked him to put the order in, so it wasn't no point in me saying anything else. So, after a while, I saw him go to the computer. He went to the desk, and then I was at one of the um, mobile computers that were right outside the desk. So, after he left the computer, he came over there, stood by me, wondering, he really was wondering why I hadn't, I already taken the patient off life support, but he didn't want to say nothing. And so, I'm looking at the computer. I said, okay, thank you. Uh, doctor, whatever your name was, I ain't gonna say it night. For putting the order in, he said, you're welcome. And then I went in there and did my job. Girl, my coworker was so tickled. They talking, Rump, you so crazy, girl. You know how to stand out with the doctor. I said, I'm not standing with y'all talking about because what that doctor eat does not make me go to the bathroom. I got to feed myself. Baby, I wasn't standing there. What is the harm in him putting the um, order in? Even if you had never been told that just because the other therapist just run and do it, uh-uh. I ain't finna run and do it. I done been in some situations like that. That's why I, mm-mm, I try to do things the right way. Mm-hmm. And another situation, the nurse like, well, I'm gonna put it, I'll put the order in. Cause the doctor wouldn't put it in. I said, baby, I don't care who put it in, as long as it's in the computer before I touch this patient. Or you can go do it. I mean, whichever one you want to do, it's up to you. Cause I got to cover these license cause I got to feed myself. I got to feed me and my family. But anyway, yeah, uh, you know, I, I ain't, um, I don't entertain these doctors that feel like they have a God complex, like they the, the best thing in the world, uh-uh, no, you ain't no better than me, ain't none of y'all, none of, the, nobody, everybody's of the same race, the human race, so I look at them, I don't be scared of them, I worked at the one hospital, um, and open heart, everybody was scared of the doctor. When he come around, they scowl. I said, man, I'm not studying this man. Because I know I got the Holy Ghost with me. And I ain't just finna go up to him and say nothing crazy, but if it's something I need to talk to him about, I'm going to go talk to him in a professional way. So one day, again, Miss V, I asked him, I said, um, excuse me, Dr. Sir, sir, can I ask you a question? He said, yeah, sure. Everybody else, as soon as he say something, they all timid. Y'all just be crazy. What is so crazy? I asked him the question. And he answered it, and guess what he said? He said, thank you for asking me. Because most people don't ask him. Be scared of them. Well, I'm not scared of these folks. I'm not going to be insubordinate, but at the same time, be respectful to you just like you're respectful to me. We're going to respect, be respectful to each other. But yeah, some of them. Walk right past you, don't speak. That ain't got nothing to do with you being a doctor. You just ignorant. To me, you just didn't have no upbringing because being a doctor has nothing to do with you speaking to somebody. Good morning. Just keep going. You ain't gave away no arm, no leg, or nothing. You just greeting people. Then you got some doctors talk you to death. You be running when they come. So it's just, I think it's all about the person's upbringing. I don't think it have anything to do with your position because your position is just that, a position. People, y'all ain't better than nobody else. Because the higher you get up, guess what? That's just how hard your fall going to be when, when you hit the ground. But my pastor said something that made sense. Think about this, y'all. Say, like, if you um, get a promotion at work. If, you, if that position changes who you are, then that's not the position for you. And that's true. Because I worked with a um, supervisor at one of the hospitals I worked in. She was like our supervisor, but that was a position for her, baby. She, she was the same when she was a regular therapist, and she was the same when she was a um, supervisor. Because, baby, you're going to do everything right, Jay. Like, she's going she gonna to make sure you do everything right, and she's going to do everything right, you know, as far as I knew. So I said that position was for her. But, like, in some of these positions... Say like if you is the supervisor of housekeeping. To me, if you had never been a housekeeper, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't be no supervisor of housekeeping. I think you need to work your way from the bottom all the way up. Just like if you was an, if you were a uh, director of nursing, I think you should have started out as a nurse assistant first, went to an LPN, went to an RN, and then went on up the ladder. Cause these folks are just getting in management positions straight out of school, and you had never done the job that you gonna be um, supervising. I don't. That's just my opinion. I don't think you would make a good supervisor. All y'all thinking about, those people usually thinking about the political part of the numbers and, you know, making the money and all that stuff. They're not thinking about the actual job. That way they they don't understand, like, 
if 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 a situation come arise come come about they they've never been in a situation like that so they don't even know how to handle it all they gonna do is just go by the boots you know you gotta have compassion for folks you know in different situations but some of these people don't need to be in no position if you were speaking every morning then you become a supervisor and all of a sudden you just start speaking that's crazy you what happened to your upbringing didn't your mama raise you to greet people she didn't say greet people um only if you are in a certain position you greet everybody my mother taught me you when you walk in a room you greet everybody you say good morning even if it's somebody in there you don't care for you don't say good morning um erica and sheila you just say good morning that's greeting everybody in the room craziness but anyway i done made it to my um daughter's house i'm gonna go let my granddaughter do my makeup i got my little tripod back there let's see what she got going on so next time y'all see me y'all gonna see uh a beautiful well y'all see a beautiful me then y'all gonna see is, is that a word a beautiful lure <laughs> y'all gonna see a beautiful lure miss v compliments of her granddaughter Leave for Lil Auburn University. My daughter Lil Auburn. She got all the Auburn stuff on her house. <laughs>